And before starting the video, I'd like to give a big thanks and special shout out to Beaver Toyota in St. Augustine, Florida for allowing me to come out and film the 2017 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Two thousand seventeen Jeep Grand Cherokee. And as you can see, this Cherokee does come equipped with the remote starter. Walking up to the Grand Cherokee, it does have a smart key access system. In order to lock, tap the button on the door handle, and in order to unlock, just put your hand behind the door handle. And this particular Grand Cherokee is finished off in a black leather interior. And in order to start, make sure you have the key within proximity of the vehicle, put your foot on the brake, and hit the dash mount a button to go. And the Grand Cherokee does have a three-spoke leather-wrapped and heated steering wheel, as well as an eight-speed automatic transmission with manual shiftability to the shifter, as well as to the shifters behind the steering wheel. And when placed in reverse, a backup camera does appear with adjustable guidelines and parking sensors that will automatically brake if you're about to hit something. And now let's go ahead, turn on the headlights, as well as the fog lights and the hazards. The front row windows are fully automatic. And now let's go ahead and check out the exterior. And this Grand Cherokee is finished off in a diamond black crystal pearl coat exterior. A hidden quirk I found in the Grand Cherokee is that it has a rechargeable flashlight in the trunk area. I don't know if that's something exclusive for the 2017 model year or that's exclusive on a certain trim, but I found it really interesting and I figured I would share. And now let's go ahead, step into the rear seats of the Grand Cherokee. And the Grand Cherokee does have two stage heated rear seats, as well as a household style charging outlet and two USB charging ports. And now let's go ahead and step out and we'll move on to the front seats. Underneath the infotainment screen behind the door, you'll find a 12 volt charging outlet, an SD card port, a USB charging port, as well as an auxiliary input.
find it really frustrating that Mopar did this with all their Dodge Chrysler's Jeeps. To turn the heated seats on, you have to go to the climate screen, hit controls, and then the heated seat. Like, why can't it just be a button? Why does it have to be so, like, difficult? Like, I might as well not even use the heated seat. Stepping back out to the exterior of the Grand Cherokee, you'll get a quick glimpse of your 20 inch alloy wheels. And now let's go ahead, step back inside the Grand Cherokee. We'll go ahead, turn off the headlights, as well as the fog lights, and the hazards. And before we shut her down, let's go ahead, see how she sounds. <laughs> 